Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss common rail on diesel engines. Starting from its function, how it works, to why diesel cars now prefer to implement common rail rather than conventional systems. Common rail is a mechanism in a diesel engine that regulates the distribution of diesel fuel to the combustion chamber electronically. So, if in a gasoline engine there is a system called EV, then in a diesel engine it is called common rail. So, how does it work? What are the advantages and disadvantages compared to the usual system? Let's discuss. Let's start from the components first. Like other electronic systems in engines, the common rail system also consists of three groups of components, namely sensors, ECU, and actuators. The sensor group is an electronic component whose job is to collect data. This data is needed so that the diesel fuel injected into the combustion chamber can have the right volume and timing. This sensor consists of a mass airflow sensor. Its function is to measure how much air volume enters the intake air hose. Usually, the MAF sensor is also packaged with the intake air temperature sensor to measure the intake air temperature. Then there is the throttle position sensor. Its function is to measure how wide the gas valve is open. Then there is the manifold absolute pressure sensor. This is to measure the pressure in the intake manifold. This sensor will know the condition of the engine's workload. If the MAPI vacuum is large, then the engine is in an unloaded position. However, if the pressure is close to zero, then the engine is under load. Then there are CKB and CMP sensors. Both of these sensors function to measure engine RPM and to know the top position of the engine. So with these two sensors, the timing to inject diesel can be known. Then there is the engine temperature sensor. This function is to know the engine temperature. So whether the diesel engine will do a cold start or not can be known through this sensor. The last one is called fuel rail pressure sensor. This functions to determine the injection pressure of the common rail fuel system. That's the main sensor. The more modern the diesel engine, usually the sensors for common rail are also more diverse. But in general, these eight sensors are the most needed by the common rail system. Then, for the second group, is the ECU, or Electronic Control Unit. In some engines, there are also those who call it ECM, or Engine Control Module. In essence, this is a component that functions to process information from the sensor. So the sensor will send its respective data into this ECU. Then, in the ECU, it will process it to produce an output in the form of voltage that is sent to the actuator. In this case, there are three actuators, namely fuel pump, high pressure pump, and injector. So, how does it work? When the ignition is on, the low pressure pump will turn on for about three seconds. This is used to push diesel fuel to the high pressure pump, so that when the engine is started, air does not enter. When the engine is started, the high-pressure pump automatically works. As a result, the diesel pressure in the fuel rail to the injector increases drastically. At the same time, all sensors will work, and each sends data to the ECU. The ECU processes the sensor data and outputs the voltage to the injector, so that in the high-pressure fuel rail position, the injector opens at the right time. There is a spray of diesel fuel from the injector in the combustion chamber. This will trigger combustion so that the engine can start. Then, how to set the engine RPM? If you look, there is a gas valve here. But this only regulates how much air volume enters, while the volume of diesel fuel must be done from the computer system itself. So there are two things that synergize with each other. First, the duration of the injector combustion. The longer the duration, the greater the volume of diesel fuel injected. Second, the amount of fuel rail pressure. The higher the fuel rail pressure, the greater the volume of diesel fuel spray. These two factors regulate the amount of diesel fuel injected. But the problem is, the fuel rail pressure changes according to the engine RPM. 
Therefore, there is this fuel rail sensor. So the fuel rail will read the diesel pressure in real time. So the ECU only needs to adjust the duration of the injector combustion so that the injected diesel fuel is not less and not more. Finally, there is one more additional actuator, namely the pressure valve control. This is usually installed on a high-pressure pump. What is its function? This valve will return some of the diesel fuel into the tank. Then why rever, the engine RPM tends to be still high, but the need for diesel fuel is small. Automatically, the diesel pressure in the fuel rail is excessive. To adjust it, this valve will open. So the pressure in the fuel rail can drop to adjust to the needs. Then who controls this valve? Obviously, the ECU. So the life of this common rail is in the ECU. As the brain of the common rail system, the ECU regulates all calculations in real time. So do not be surprised if the common rail diesel engine is known to be efficient, more economical, and has better emissions. Because the supply of diesel fuel is calculated using a computer in real time. But the weakness, common rail diesel engines must be balanced with quality fuel. If not, the engine will be the victim. That's the explanation of the common rail diesel engine. Hopefully, it will increase our knowledge.